here at Disneyland for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. There's a merchandise event, and at the merchandise event they have premiered uh, what they're calling the Host a Ghost Jars. And yes, I am next to a sink, but the lighting was really good, so that's why we're here. But uh, So these are Host a Ghost Jars. They're not only at Disneyland, they're going to be at Disney World. They're actually replacing the uh, uh, lenticular make-your-own-ghost-picture thing that's been at Memento Mori at the Magic Kingdom for a long time. Instead, I guess they're going to stock these in there. And uh, Host a Ghost, there's nine of them, so we have a whole bunch of boxes here we have to go through. But there's nine of these things, and I want to show you exactly what they are and what they do, because Disney did a really terrible job explaining them. Um, luckily I thought they looked cool, so I was like, I'm going to buy a set. Okay, so you open them up and you get a uh, death certificate for each one. So here we have our death certificate, a verification that comes with each and every one. Sadly, they're not different for each one, um, but you can just put your caretaker name on there if you want to. Sadly, because of the shape of the jars, some of these are just bent to begin with, which is sad. Uh, also, every jar this will focus at some point. There we go. Every jar and every character comes with their own little charm bracelet thing uh, that goes around the top of the jar. You're supposed to wrap this around the top of the jar and just let it hang off the end. Um, so this one is a wedding ring, so you could probably guess who's going to be in here. So they come in a nice box to keep them safe. And it's an easy pull tab if you want to get these out of here. They're jars. They're jars. They look like people here probably are going to have no idea what they're a reference to. Um, in Florida, in the Memento Mori shop, there are a lot of these jars in uh, Memento Mori, which is uh, belongs to Madame Leota. So she has all these jars and things, and so what they did was they made them all look like the jars above the store. And everyone has its own label for the character. So there's a cute little saying about the character. And then... Uh, all right, to activate them, you got to pop this lid off. I'm going to try to do it with one hand now. <laughs> I may have to put the camera down for a second. <laughs> I recommend using two hands at home. There we go. All right, so you pop the lid off. It's not broken. Don't worry, this is plastic. By the way, this is a plastic jar. This is a plastic lid. It's still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and you got to do, you got to turn them on. They have an on and off switch uh, inside the lid here. There we go. We're going to flip it on. Uh, when you do that, you're going to make sure these ends fit correctly when you put them back in. We're going to put this lid back on here. And when you do that, Madame Leota is going to laugh. Probably because you spent $60 on a piece of plastic. Uh, <laughs> she's going to laugh when you put it back in. Yeah, there we go. See? She's laughing. I'm laughing at myself, too. Uh, and then you do, uh, you, you just got to tap the lid here. Family, friends, next of kin, summon a spirit from the mansion. Ghoulies travel from near and far, all invited to reside in a jar. Yeah, obviously not the original recording for Madame Leona. Uh, it sounds enough like her, but the the jar rhyme is it's kind of silly. But they are ghosts in a jar, right? Uh, so if you hit it again, you get the music from the Haunted Mansion. The foyer music, to be specific. And your ghost will light up. So every time you hit it, some audio effect will happen, and your ghost inside the jar will light up. So we got Constance Hatchaway. Obviously, this is the killer bride that's in both the Disneyland and Disney World version of the ride. I bring that up because there's going to be something weird that happens with some of these, that they're not all from both versions of the ride. Be sure to bring your death certificate. I guess because they come with a death certificate, they decided, oh, we should mention the death certificate. The saddest thing about these, and I think a huge missed opportunity, I don't understand why they all don't play audio from that character. A lot of these characters have lines, or at least musical cues, or something that would go with them. And for some reason, they decide not to do that. But that's it. There's only the three. So she's going to go through her family's friend's jar bit again. They're pretty easy to repack. 
All right, Madam Waiter, we're gonna. You can hear her through the box. Yep, now you're invited to reside in a box. All right, so let's go to the next one here. The only way to tell them apart, the boxes are all the same. There's a tiny sticker. I don't know if I can get the tiny sticker here. There you go. Tiny sticker on each one that's going to tell you who's inside. So we're very quickly going to go through the rest of these. Obviously, all the audio is the same, so I'm just going to show you guys what the inside and the charm are. Uh, so this is Gus, and because it's Gus, one of the hitchhiking ghosts, it has his ball and chain as the charm, your death certificate. Oh, see, sometimes if you rattle them a bit, they'll uh, they'll talk, or she'll do the laugh. Well, see, I didn't put this one back in right, so I can't get it out. There, there we go. You always make sure you put that little strap underneath, otherwise you're never going to get these out of here. Even then, with one hand, it's pretty hard. Oh, oh you're seeing Gus while I try to do this. There we go. So there's Gus. Here's his little tag. His label. I will also say the labels, uh, they did a good job aging the plastic jars. The labels are just stickers so that the damage to the label is all just printed on. And if you look real close, I, I can't get closer with this lens, but if you look real close, um, it's, it's not the greatest printing. Actually, if I do this, I can take you guys in close. Here we go. There we go. Um, it's all right. It's solid. Anyway, so that's Gus. You saw Gus now, so we're going to make sure we put our... I'll be quiet, man. I'm later. The other bad thing is I'm going to have to go into all these again and hit that off switch. But that's Gus. Don't worry. That'll be done off camera. Oh, see, I forgot to put the death certificate in. Don't forget your death certificate. All right. Next up, we didn't get to any of the weird ones yet. See, all these are laughing now as I open them. This is, we're going to see if we can tell who it is just by the charm. And the charm's upside down. That is a stack of books. And you might wonder what character is related to the stack of books. Well, of course, it's Amicus Arcane, the mansion librarian. And you're probably asking at home, who is that? Well, it's the mansion librarian. Um, see, I didn't put this one back in the right way because I don't have the thing to grab. And actually, the de funny enough, the decal's coming off of this one already. One more. So a fun thing, if your jar gets stuck, uh, it's just styrofoam. So you can take the styrofoam out and just push through. Uh, the bad thing is then this will happen. Then your, your fancy little, you're going to have to rewrap all of that. Um, but luckily the strap is attached to the box, so we'll put that back in correctly the next time. Anyway, uh, we have Amicus Arcane, the Mansion Librarian. Um, and you might be asking who this is because it's not a thing that's heavily referenced in the attraction. He's from the, the queue, I guess, at uh, Walt Disney World. There are those, those, the books on that shelf in the, uh, the, uh, Interactive queue where you push the bookshelves back in. That's where I would know him from. Uh, and the only reason I say that for sure is because a lot of uh, these jars are related to the interactive queue more than they are the ride. Funny enough. A lot of this artwork and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, for the next one, there's a hat box. So, I can't imagine who might, who might have a hat box charm. Pull this guy out. There we go. Uh, I don't recommend doing this with one hand, by the way. Okay, so yeah, the lid. So the lid is exactly the same on all of them. It's cool though. It's a plastic sculpted haunted mansion uh, sign, and of course the speaker is in there. Um, that's why it looks like there's a hole in the letters because there is. Uh, so here we have the hat box ghost. Not my favorite hat box ghost art choice, but uh, yeah, I imagine this one will be pretty popular. It's probably the one everybody wants. Let's make sure we have our little tab out so we can get this guy back out when we need to. 
put him back in and put our death. See this one, the, some of them it packs better. This death certificate's nice and flat and preserved. So if you're a collector, you may want to pop these open and check them as you buy them. And I'm sure the cast member will be happy to oblige at $59.99 a piece, which is what these are retailing at. I'm going to move that out of the light. There we go. Alright, here we've got... What charm do we have here? We have, if it'll focus, nope. All right, we have a hat, uh, and that's a bowler hat because we have Ezra, one of the hitchhiking ghosts. It's his, his recognizable little bowler hat. There we go. at his label. Ezra Bean, or Beanie, I guess, for, I don't know. I'm guessing that's Bean. That's Ezra Bean. The Skeleton. I won't read all of these, but let's see what he looks like. I think he looks pretty good. This one's pretty great. And like I said, they all have those same three little audio cues. And they, there are instructions to change the batteries in there. That's what that piece of paper is we keep uh, encountering. Now, see, this didn't close right. So you got to be careful with these. to the next one. Yeah, remember, you should probably remember to turn them off if they're not going to be used for a while. Otherwise, the batteries are going to uh, die in there or corrode. A number of things can happen. Uh, we have another, another hat. I'm guessing this is Phineas. Yep, so this is another Hitchhiking Ghost. We got Phineas Plum. Sound like a different laugh. Okay, so Phineas Plump. Oh, Plum. Plump, excuse me. Phineas Plump. Professor Phineas Plump. Uh, here holds the spirit of Ph Professor Phineas Plump, the Traveler. That's upside down. It is musical notes. Because we have Victor Geist, the organist. Uh, Victor Geist, the organist. Uh, we wouldn't know his name otherwise, um, but this is what appears in the uh, interactive queue of the graveyard, uh, the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World. You have the raven uh, at the top of the organ in that queue. Um, and so that's why we know. But obviously he's also in the attraction playing in the ballroom. Be sure to bring your death certificate. Not the best art for him, but it's, it's one of the cooler uh, labels because of the raven, which is obviously a very recognizable thing from the attraction. I keep she's laughing because I keep forgetting to put these in. All right, two left. Who do we have left here? Oh, let's do this one next. We've got 
it is an anchor. So I bet you know who's going to be in here. It is... We have the sea captain, Captain Culpepper Klein, uh, which also has references to the interactive queue. There are those uh, strange looking fish that appear on the side of his crypt in the interactive queue in Florida. And there's some old art of the sea captain. And the speaker on this one's a little fuzzy. It's worth noting they're all different sizes, which is great for display. Like, I think they'll look in a group really cool just because they're all different sizes and not uh, all the same height and width and all that. So I think it's cool that they're all a little different. At least height-wise they're different. Maybe width they're all the same. Alright, we're closing you in there. <laughs> and the last one here we've got... Comes with upside down. Comes with ballet shoes. And that's because from the stretching portraits we have Sarah Sally Slater, which is of course the girl on the, the ballerina on the tightrope. She's on the tightrope above the alligator or crocodile, whatever you want it to be. And this is probably my favorite one, honestly. Um, it has her umbrella, her parasol. At the top here, hold the spirit of Sarah, Sally Slater. Also has the gloves and the, the dancer shoes, the ballerina shoes, uh, on it as well. And I like the art. I think the art's pretty great. This is my favorite one, I think. So this is the Hosta Ghost. They are $59.99 before discount. Applicable discounts to apply and you'll pass holder, all that good stuff, cast member, all those kind of things. Um, these should be available starting Friday at Walt Disney World, I believe they've said. And uh, I assume also on Friday you'll be able to get them at, at uh, stores here at the Disneyland Resort as well. Um, but this is the Hosta Ghost. It's a new thing. They're trying out for the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And uh, I think they're pretty neat.